Hello my friends and welcome to this video where I'm going to play my qualification round in the Rookie Division tournament. Uh, we have had some discussions in Team Tommy about which clubs for me to use and we came to the conclusion in the end that because of the clubs and the levels that I do have, which is not good at all even though I choose the best bag possible, I'm going to go with the best clubs possible here in Rookie uh, because I will still have a disadvantage when it comes to the clubs but in the end I will be able to go for the win and, apps and also going to be able to teach you guys how to play in the Rookie Division. Uh, I know it uh, may be fun to watch me playing with beginner clubs uh, but in the end we don't learn that much and we are possibly going to do beginning clubs in one tournament then we do a special try to use the rookie division try to use different setups different clubs to really grind it through and do a really good play the only ball that we're going to use is the basic ball so that will not change i will not pull out a kingmaker or a titan or even a marlin so it will be a basic ball all the way through so my friends before we start do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel be a sub and also we will be back streaming tomorrow on wednesday as uh, my new internet is coming then so uh, I re i'm really looking forward to that it has been some struggle uh, there will uh, be a full screen video here to give you the best possible view uh, when I'm playing here so I will not have a screen for my face and uh, we'll see how it's going so let's do it play in uh, playing in the rookie division hole at number one par four and we'll see here how we can play this one and of course from the first tee even though we have an extra mile level four we don't have any curl but we should be able to get it over here we do want to get over to the fairway and not put ourselves into the rough especially not on the right side so we're going to drag that one up and we're going to drag one a little bit there and then we're going to use a little bit curl and a little bit over power as you can see we want to bounce it kind of straight over the bunker and as we are not having any side spin that's why we you did use a little bit of curl to just apply that one to uh, our shot so now we are in a short iron range which is definitely a range that we do like and for many people playing this hole especially in rookie if you put yourself on top there on the fairway then you will be able to reach uh, not reach you will be able to have a good opportunity to make the eagle uh, our opponent here is using quarterback and I can say directly and of course if you just have the quarterback then use the quarterback but if you're not having the quarterback you actually will be better with a big topper or uh, use an extra mile even though you have it in a low level. So for our second shot here we need to have in mind that ball is not affected a lot by the wind. We only have the Apache as a short iron so we're going to use the fringe here for the bounce we're going to see if we are straight at the pin we do have 4.9 not going to adjust that one much at all as you can see the ball is not affected much by the wind and we'll get this one in the hole so good start and it's awesome to that is uh, probably the first one I get to drop when it comes to the Apache so Apache level one uh, or like level two is not the best club but in the end it works the same there using the fringe one bar of backspin and as we did we did adjust like in, in normal for like two yards of or sorry two miles per hour we had 4.9 but again we're playing uphill and the ball is not affected uh, by the wind that much and here when we're playing in rookie i think this is kind of a crucial hole to at least uh, uh, get an eagle on the front or on the uh, on the back nine 
our opponent our opponent will make an easy birdie from there even though we will give him the birdie because we made the eagle so good start and now we're going to play hole number two we're going to see here which club we are going to use hole two par I'm going to go with the Viper level 5 as you can see here the Viper will be probably the common club for us to use especially on the par 3s and we are uh, we are most likely going to use the rough on top uh, and try to roll it down to the pin it's a little bit risky because if we're just a little bit off then we could go short into the bunker or we could go uh, too long and bounce over the whole green so as you can see here, you will uh, in with using a, a special ball you will be in between clubs. They're in between the bunkers, so I do rather see, especially when having this low wind as Kenneth, our opponent, is having, go in the rough on top of the bunker. Use that one to roll down to the pin. This one will be. Uh, too short unfortunately but uh, when you come in that situation and have tailwind you need to underpower your shot but that is of course a whole other technique and we are going to go here as we are not having the bald guy to go and kind of just need to see that our line is straight at the pin I like to see that one and we have one and a half bar of backspin which is the common and adjust it there just inside the bunker important that we did hit that one perfect seems like we will be a little bit long to the left but in the end we're using the rough there to give ourselves an, an easier way to get the hole in one and especially kind of just put ourselves in a situation where we will not be in between clubs and with the sand laser that we do have or the the junglers that we do have from the from the rough will not give us any good opportunities at all so we will make the birdie here and um, we will of course be happy with that but that is definitely a hole uh, with whatever club we are using that we will be close to making a hole in one and now when you maybe see me okay Tommy you play masses normally and now you play in rookie why do you do that the reason I do play in rookie is because so many people are requesting for me to play rookie talk a lot on how I'm playing show you how I'm playing in rookie especially during tournament time and also playing with clubs that are most common used in rookie I normally like I do now use clubs that is not uh, not as good as people are having when playing the rookie division but also to show people that it's not about playing them it's not about the clubs basically it's about uh, it's about playing the hole now in this particular matter and this one will be tough for us and we are most likely going to try to go for the dunk and uh, we're going to see do we have any other wedge no we are not having any other wedge we do just have a little bit a little bit of backspin we actually do have some backspin one but we only have with the boomerang the only reason i'm thinking about using the boomerang actually is that we do have the backspin for the dunk. I'm actually going to use that one. I'm going to gamble a little bit here, I think, or like, okay, hard to decide there, hard to decide. It's hole number three, and this one will be tough. Did I change to the big dog? We do need length. So we do have the big dog and we do have the extra mile. I will say directly that we will not be able to reach for the green in two that would be too tough and we are not having the ball we're not having the like the clubs for it it's like even though we have the big dog it's it will not help us because 
I will have the same type of distance uh, than I do have from mosses and from mosses I'm using uh, a better circle ball or I'm using a kingmaker ball and then I will not be able then I still have to kind of overpower and now we lose distance with not having the ball so uh, we are going to possibly go bouncing over there on the right side try to get that one um, and the important part here is of course not to go into the rough or into the bunker and we are going to see if we may be just going to play ourselves from using the top spin instead instead of try to overpower it we'll see uh, if I'm going there I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to curl it in a little bit and put myself at the position where my opponent is because this one will not with the wind with a harder wind then we would be like or stronger wind that is the right term to use with stronger wind we would be going all in using one bar of a backspin and then go over the rough this one looks too much yeah oh my god okay so this one was not good at all and now it's only for us to try to save the birdie we did hit the great on the left side and then we can't can't see ourselves making anything better than that so now we need to save the birdie and as i said before no matter cl uh, what clubs that you have here you do need to play a drive right and for me this drive is so much easier playing from the third tee which is master division than playing from the front tee because now i need to use top spin and i don't like rely on myself hitting perfect when it comes to overpower you can see we'll not be able to reach over to the second fairway so we will be just using the backspin here and we're just going to put ourselves up here so we're going to put ourselves up here oh my god and we <laughs> oh my god i almost said i need to cut that one off and that was absolutely horrible and uh, now it's kind of will be a tough time for us our opponent will most likely uh, be making a birdie and then we are going to uh, try to get as close as possible and then we are going to this one will be unfortunately miss uh, so we will most likely be trying to say uh, save ourselves for the birdie no sorry the birdie will be a hard save i would say for the par this time but if our opponent is making a birdie then then we will be fine that's a good shot from our opponent there uh, kind of hard to to get that one in either uh, uh, with that for that distance as well so we did really play our shot uh, badly so I'm going to I'm going to put myself up here and I'm not going to do anything special I do want to put myself onto the fairway and then I'm going to try to go for the dunk from that distance to save the birdie and the reason I'm going to try to go for that is because our opponent will uh, be putting this one in for a birdie so we'll get the par so bad start uh, with this hole in particular we do want to have a birdie at least to be able to feel good about this one so we'll see if we will be in between clubs we will not be but we do have the backbone and again even though we miss this one we will be making a par so if we get it in then we'll get a birdie so we're going to go for that long distance dunk do have like not much at all it's uphill as well Will be too much to the left. 
I thought so, but boom! I thought it was too much to the left, actually. I kind of looked uh, wrong on the ball guy line, but that was good to dunk it in from, uh, from distance with a birdie. And uh, that was, um, in the end, uh, lucky for us to get that dunk in, um, even though it takes a little bit of skill to get that one in as well. So, but we saved the birdie and we're going to not play the shootout as we actually have been sampling some coins for the latest tournament. I kind of like with that hole, it was played massively wrong. And in the end, I was happy to be able to get the save uh, for, for hole number three. And of course, we the way that we want to play it uh, would be like going close there to the top of the rough uh, for our first shot then go as close to the bunker on top for a second shot and then gonna go for the dunk with our wedge or with our short iron that will be our gameplay but um, now we okay we don't even have any top spin now I'm actually going to we are not having any okay this one will be tough I'm going to use one bar of topspin and uh, do want to hit here on top and I'm not using rough there on top I need to use a little bit of um, Good that we actually did uh, adjust that with some curl. It works, it works, but again, this hole will be played a little bit differently. And for playing uh, this one for the first time, I'm okay with it, but I'm actually going to go with the big dog on this one and uh, going to use the rough there on top of the, like just before the green starts and using two bars of topspin. But and now I kind of just when I checked the spin, as you could see on my viper, I didn't have any backspin, any topspin at all. Then I get forced to play with my long iron, which I, which I don't want to because I'm not familiar with that type of play. So our opponent's making good shot as well, uh, and nice shot. I'm going to put one uh, R in for a birdie here. So we put it in for a birdie, uh, so when it comes here to the rookie division, again, it's uh, it's definitely interesting and uh, it's a lot of learning for me, even though I'm, I should be able to play these hole really well with this type of wind, but it's all about playing the courses, playing the holes, and it's kind of find the sweet spots as we did already on hole number one, we got it on hole number two, then hole number three, we need to get some work done, and then on hole number four, we need to change club. So it's always about to learn. You can't, no matter how good you are in this game, you can't just go out and play with whatever clubs and think you will make anything to drop. So we're going to go and play hole number five for us now. It's important to have the thorn. And now we are not going to upgrade the Saturn. So we're going to go with the backbone if that will be the case. Okay, short iron, do we even have the thorn? No, we are not. And I don't want to upgrade the runner. Oh my God, we are not having any backspin at all. Hmm. Okay, it will be interesting to see. We will have to go with the clubs that we actually do have and try to find a way to play this one without backspin, basically. Maybe we're going to try to go for the dunk if we have long iron range. But that is, of course, risky to hitting the pin. But I think that will be the best way to kind of go for the eagle without having made my setup yet. So I'm going to go with two and a half bar here rather play myself a little bit short and go with the long iron and we do have a little bit of tailwind even though it's almost just wind from left to right so we're going to go here 
we're not having any type of spin to like side spin to go with so we just want to smash this one in the middle i think we will work well there with the beginner like with basic ball i think this is long iron distance i don't want to be in short iron distance and the reason for that is even if we go for the dunk we only have one bar for backspin with our apache and that is not helpful at all and my friends if you're playing in the rookie division don't hesitate to make a question in the comment section below i will be happy to give you the help that you need to winning your ba winning the banner in the rookie division or getting you the chest that you do want and deserve so for all of us we do start playing in the first division and then it's of course good to boost the bankroll with coins with uh, club cards with balls especially balls for when you're coming to the higher divisions then you will need to have some good balls there i'm going to go for the dunk here and that will be the gameplay and we will be having a ball that is affected gonna go there As you can see here now, and we got it into the water, that was the risky part, definitely a risky part, we got an achievement, and again, as I, uh, two achievements, uh, as I said in the, in the beginning here, it is risky to go for the dunk, and if you are not 100% accurate, then you will be risking going down into the water. My opponent here will most likely put himself or herself for a birdie and then we will try to go for the dunk again and save ourselves uh, for the birdie. But if we do miss again, we will be saved by our opponent. And uh, we'll see here now, and this is for this one seems like rough, especially now with the curl. I see it's a little bit overpower. But this is definitely a tight, tight line. Actually an excellent shot from that distance, slightly old power with coal and stuff like that. So then we, we, uh, then we are guaranteed a par. So we're going to go again for the dunk. We were close as we did hit the pin, but uh, again, we didn't get it in. I'm going to aim in the back of the pin, uh, back of the hole here. We used like going to go a little bit less I'm going to go half there again go a little bit more this time see this one and we get this one in the hole so we make that one in and again we save ourselves for a birdie uh, very risky uh, very risky to play that way but the only reason I'm actually playing that way is that I will not be having an opportunity for the eagle if I'm not going for the dunk and if I'm not having backspin on my club sure I can play myself short using the curl that I do have on the sniper maybe stuff like that but will it will still be a very risky shot so it's a judgment call what do you feel comfortable with going with and you need to have in mind when you go with the dunk it's not the game's fault if you get that one into the water it it's definitely the risk that you do take if you just are slightly off so uh and we get the birdie in the in the end <laughs> it's uh uh, so that was good and we're going to go and play hole number six now and hole number six we're going to play this one actually with i think we're going to play with you i only have this now do we have any curl on yeah not much but i'm going to go with the big dog of course going to go with the distance here and we do have the backbone for our long iron and we are going to go with hole number six now and hole number six I will not try to chase the eagle here 
I'm going to put myself up on the fairway, then I'm going to put myself again on the fairway, then I'm going to go with my long iron, trying to go for a long range shot and get the eagle. Uh, but we are not going to use any type of spin here. Just going to let this ball do its work. I'm just going to make a quarter of backspin just in case here. Just only had three in wind. I could almost maybe go, but this ball is affected a lot by the wind as well. So, um, so it works well. Uh, quarter uh, bar off backspin and put ourselves there nicely on top. So, okay, our opponent will use an extra mile level 4 here as well. And as you can see on our club settings, we are playing against people that do have the same type of clubs that we do have. And I'm trying to talk as much as possible for you to get a grip on some some type of situation and how I'm thinking. Like, for an example, like on the, sh uh, on the latest hole with when I went for the dunk and I missed going into the water and that may not that doesn't look good but it's important for me to show you all that it's a risk and explain to you why I took that risk. So I'm going to go with max level power here and I'm going to go with oh I hit it good but I rather want to go on that side on the other side. So we used the top spin that we did have and we put ourselves into the rough, which was, again, which was a mistake. And uh, I'm used to have side spin to the right here and, um, and put myself easily up there on the fairway, even though I hit with, uh, with top spin. So the next time I'm not going to use any top spin, just going to overpower. And that is something that will happen sometimes. If you go with overpower combined with top spin, you will in uh, in some cases go a little bit more I, like too long than you actually are thinking about doing. So this one will work excellent instead. And uh, our opponent will have a decent opportunity to make an eagle, even though it's a long shot. So we are going to reach here for the green i have no clue here on how this ball will go in the air because i don't have any ball guide so i'm actually going to put myself there using using the fringe try to see that we are just having straight there for the pin and then we'll have a high ball guide It's perfect, as you can see, we will probably be a little bit too much to left. But it's a good shot I have with the rough iron shot, but of course it would be a better opportunity for the eagle if we would be putting ourselves up as our opponent uh, did do with here with the long iron for the pin. But yeah, I'm happy with the shot and you will hear me many times say like, okay, that ball will go a little bit too much to left. And that is kind of an, I would say, an injury that they do have for have been playing this game for so much that I can directly, when the ball goes up in the air, see um, which side of the pin basically it will be. So it will be fun to kind of have like this type of um, competition sometimes to to test the nerdiness in it. But I do love the game. Uh, I have been playing. It for a year now uh, and the game is only one year and two months old so I'm an oldie in the game but I really do like it and I and a big reason that I do like it is because it challenges you and new holes new courses different wind it challenges you to always improve and always be better to try to stay on top I've been at the top since April last year and, and the players are getting better and better and better so if I would have been playing like I did for a, uh, like nine or like ten months ago I will would not be winning any tournaments uh, if we take into account how good the players are at this level so now we took the e sorry took the birdie here but 
we will not make that much uh, many eagles here on um, on hole number six we need to kind of try and go for the eagles on hole number three and hole number nine instead so we're going to go to hole number seven and now we are going to go with the viper here or do we have like ball we do have 3.7 with the sniper but we have no backspin we have nothing so we do have no top spin here as well so i'm going to go with the big dog here um or like we're going to go with the backbone otherwise i don't remember actually if we're going to play with our long iron or with our wood club but doesn't matter we'll try to get this one close to the pin anyway so playing against terry and his uh, son or daughter okay we're going to go with the big dog just in between clubs but that will work well we're going to use Two bars of top spin, and it's again. It's hard to kind of see here how we will. I'm going to go there. No. one perfect will be too much to the left i think a little bit hard as well but it's good to know that it will be enough to like 1.75 in in the top spin but two in top spin will uh, make it easily over and now we do have a setup for the opening round that we will be able to uh, give ourselves what can i say give ourselves the opportunity to be closer on this one because we oh this one will be too much to the left and it's underpowered as well this one can go really not great at all see if it reaches over it does it will be short but as you could see there on our friend's adjustment there uh, he was underpower his shot because he was touching the triangles on top and then you will get short So we put it in for a birdie. Now we have two more holes to go here on in the rookie division. So okay then, uh, our opponent did unfortunately missed that pot that was uh, unfortunately so we're going to go to hole number eight now and this is also a hole where we want to be close for an eagle at least and i do think we need to see ourselves drop one in the opening or in the weekend hopefully in the weekend so i'm going to go to hole number eight So, okay, we're going to put ourselves up there on the top. We are not going to use any overpower and then just going to Just going to use a little bit of side spin sorry a little bit curl to the right and Then we are going to use the top spin. to do have the fairway slopes a little bit down to the right And we just want to put ourselves there and then we should be having a short iron to the pin So our opponent is using the big topper and that that could be like a, a good way to go and uh, going with the big topper there to bounce it over the rough uh, because the topspin will help you a lot and you will stay away from the risky parts 
that's for sure. So, okay, now it's time to do our best to get this one into the hole. We're going to use the massive one bar pack screen that we do have on our Apache. And we want to have a we want to have a bounce here on the fairway. As you will see with the bounce, we will go slightly there to the right. So we're going to aim here a little bit on the left side. Here it seems like we're a little bit. Oh, we get in the hole then! Yay! We got that one in as well. I'm glad, uh, glad that we got our emoji spam, uh, spamming friend there, uh, sharing for us and uh, being happy for us to get that one in the hole. So okay, our opponent is having the thorn, and as you know, I, as you guys know, I do love the thorn. I love, love, love going with the thorn. So I think it's kind of nah. I miss the thorn. Now we are only having the Apache, but the Apache has been good to us. We have been dropping two times already, and uh, so this one will be a little bit too much to the left. And I think that was really good. We didn't have to overpower anything and we got that one in the bag. So an eagle there, so a minus 10 uh, before the last hole. Maybe we are lucky enough to get a minus 12 here in the end if we can get the eagle. But now we have a long, long, long hole and we don't have any side spin. So I'm going to go with the big dog again. We're going to go with the same type of setup. I'm going to open the pin chest. So I'm going to go with hole number nine. And here, and with all, all the part fives, especially hole three and hole nine, we do want at least to give ourselves the opportunity to make an eagle, like for a short dunk maybe or something like that. We don't want to put ourselves in the in the situation as we did on hole number three. Hole number six, we can be okay with a birdie. But now we will be having to be using, we're going to use two bars of topspin and we are going to use the, all the curl that we do have, even though it's not much. And the reason we're just using two bars of topspin is because we don't want to go into the rough or into the bunker in the end like in the end of the the fairway there so i don't understand why curl is up to the right it will put our opponent there a little bit further from the hole which will in the end be harder to reach the green in two and but it was a safe shot nice shot so we're going to go here we're going to zoom in a little bit i'm going to drag it up just to see the ball guideline and then we're going to go with 3.7 it's not much but as we are playing from an uphill position the ball will be affected a little bit more by the wind but now we did hit the great on the right side so we will bounce it over but we will have a long shot for the green As you can see here, our second shot, we will be having the same type of situation as our opponent. And we're going to max overpower it. And we are going to be a little bit lucky with our first bounce. As this shot is absolutely excellent. 
um, even though it's a little bit longer putt it will again it's an absolute excellent shot and it gives our opponent an opportunity to make the eagle so we are going to see we're just having four so we're going to go with max here So we went a little bit too much right. Maybe we can use the rough to get out there on the fairway. Just stay there, please. Good. And now we're going to go for the dunk. We'll uh, try to get the eagle from the dunk. But if we miss and our opponent get this one in, it doesn't really matter where we put ourselves because then we will have a say, oh, tough putt. I didn't see this one being in a putt to overpower. Unlucky for our opponent after that second shot, to be honest. So we're going to go with the backspin here. See, so just as you can see that we will be able to stay on the fairway or on the fringe. Always aim in the edge, like in the end of the cup. So when we got it in for an eagle, that is uh, absolutely okay, uh, an okay round, I'm happy with it, with these clubs I'm definitely happy with it, we had some tough saves uh, and we in the end uh, managed to make a minus 12 even though we missed the eagle on hole number 3 and hole number 6, but it could be worse, we could have missed uh, a little bit more, but all of all, uh, like for playing uh, Ricky here in this tournament, uh, for like the first time uh, with these clubs that I do have, I'm happy with a minus 12. Uh, so here you can see the scorecard. We made it to drop on hole one and hole eight, and then we got the eagle on hole nine. So maybe, and hopefully we will get the eagle on hole number three in the opening round as well. So my friends, I hope you learned something here. Uh, please make a thumbs up on the video uh, if you did enjoy it, and make a comment in the comment section below. We'll, back to, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with new internet and the masters round so i hope i will see you there on stream uh, i think it's about time for us to get uh, the streaming starting for this tournament so my friends in the end here i will wish you the best of luck in the saint patrick's day tournament